Hello everyone, uh, welcome to round two with our goblin slide deck. I don't know if I should keep this hand, it really doesn't do anything during the early game, but will six card hand be better? I'm thinking a six card hand has a chance of being better. Or mm. er, mull, sorry. And hit a worse six card hand, sort of, but I'm not mulling to five, so... We're probably just gonna get land stuck for a bit and then move on from there with our goblin slide and hopefully do things. Our opponent mulled to five, so that's good for us. Um, so that helps. We'll see how it goes down. Alright. Land? Nope. Alright, moving right along. <laughs> our opponent's like, oh, he kept on a one lander. I'm like, yeah, I kept on a one lander. I could have kept on a nice three lander, which did nothing, but apparently I prefer to keep on one landers because that's the kind of person I am. So, chastise me later about it. Put it in the comments. Who knows? Let's see. Ah, a second land. We're getting places, slowly. Once I hit that third land. That's when things start to get interesting. Oh, our opponent has four colors in there. No, three, one, right, four. Yeah, he has, he has four colors. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Ah, another card I can't cast yet. How lovely. Um, oh, I have to discard? Uh, let's get this Night the Monsters. Most expensive of my removal spells. And yeah, yeah, not good for me. Yeah. What's this guy? Pagan Hammer Heart. Interesting. Oh, he's gonna flip his guy. What is his guy? It is a Mystic. Okay. So I can still kill that with Winter Flame if I draw a land. Boom. Alright, um, so I have a choice here. I either play Goblin Slide, hope to draw land, and then play Winter Flame and with a Goblin, or I just play Winter Flame, kill this guy, or I could even just actually Crippling Chill it and draw a card. I think I'm going to do the Goblin Slide, though. I have plenty of life, so I'd rather just get my Goblin Slide on. Because once I hit the mana to play Crippling Chill or Winter Flame plus draw a card, I will be in significantly better shape. So it looks like white is his splash color. He's like black, blue, green. Oh. Oh, that's why you're splashing white, huh? Right, huh? That's bullshit, sir. Bullshit. <laughs> Alright. Time to draw a land so I can tap that and kill that. And get a goblin. Boom! Hit the land. All right, good. So we at least get to stay alive longer. Tap that, kill that, make a goblin. Winter flame plus goblin slide. I want all the goblins. All of them. Next turn, it's probably just like crippling chill, draw card, mega goblin. Oh boy. Oh boy. Infinite Seed Rhinos. Cause clever impersonator plus seed rhino. That's a thing in limited, apparently. Apparently. Uh oh crap. Alright, well I get to crippling chill one, mega goblin, take Four? Gross? I think that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> Which is really awkward. It's all hell. Siege Rhinos. Infinite Siege Rhinos. Four fives with Trample are ridiculous against me, especially since I got rid of my Smite.
Yeah, that, that stings. A lot. I go to four. Bring in Siege Rhino. Alright, another land. So that's something. Um, I need to find a way to actually kill one of his Siege Rhinos, which I guess I can play this just as a 4-4 four, four for 6, and then use a Goblin and it to trade. Oh boy. Alright, so what we can do is have a Goblin and it trade for the real one would be the best option. Maybe he won't swing with the fake one because I just trade with it, or he's just going to remove my guy right now. Or, oh, dig through time. <sighs> so you're splashing white for Siege Rhino and a Sultai deck, I guess? I guess that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> sure. It's gross, but it's fine. Um. Hmm. Interesting. <sighs> Alright, so... I have to, if he swings, I have to trade off everything, basically, for a Siege Rhino. Or, sorry, trade off my Witness of the Ages for a Siege Rhino. And I kill it, because I just block it with six power, six toughness. Alright. And then I just have to keep the other one... Frozen down for a bit, I guess. Uh, uh, what what you doing? So don't do anything. Oh, you're being a douche. Gotcha. I said don't do anything. There. <laughs> Jeez, I'm so screwed. Um. Okay, I can tap them both down. Make one goblin. Freeze this one, I tap this one. And I make one goblin. Then I have to find, I still have to find a way to remove it, that was the problem. Alright, so we freeze the big one. Freeze it, make a goblin. Rock. Tap that one. No goblin. <laughs> I'm trying to stay alive here, but maybe at this point I should have just scooped already. It's hard to say. <sighs> but I'm staying alive barely. He's still got five cards in hand, though. Which is ridiculous. Yeah, another morph. Okay. I I'm pretty sure I'm just dead. I should just scoop. Rather than reveal anything else, I should just scoop. Yeah, I figured that was an Amazon guide. That was my guess. Alright. <clears throat> so he's got Sea Drino, Abzan Guide as his white splashes. He's got all sorts of ridiculousness in his deck with Dig Through the Dig Through Time and Clever Impersonator. Oi. Alright, I'm gonna put in Master the Way because it can do a solid punch to something like a Sea Drino and kill it. Um, if he plays Morphs, Winter Flame is still fine, so I'm going to keep both the Winter Flames. Monaster Flock definitely goes down in value. Well, no, it actually blocks and holds off Siege Rhino. So Monaster Flocks are actually go up in value. Um, things that don't deal with those go down in value. Um, like Set Adrifts go down in value significantly in this match, so... Because he has enter the battlefield effects or silly shit like that. Uh, can I keep this hand? Five drops. A trio of three drops. Yeah, I'll keep it. I've got two lands, which help me have a little bit of leeway on trying to get to my stuff. I need to keep my solid kill effects basically for Siege Rhinos because that card is ridiculous. Things to consider. Alright, so I think ideally we'd go next turn 
draw land, play land, just guy wing scout, and just kind of work it with it from there. Sure, you have a smoke teller. That's now land. All right, I guess we're just going to have mana problems. First game, it's on me. This game, it's not on me. Two lands is a perfectly fine keep in most cases. Especially when my deck has so many three drops. Yep, I'm taking two. I have morph, probably. Yep. Alright. Now I can run out this Just Guy Wind Scout and hopefully start to do stuff in here. Take four here, go to fifteen. But I have Winter Plane to kill off the morph. Yeah, okay, so we use Winter Plane to kill off the morph. Five cards, and he gets to pick two of uh, land, so if we get a land. Oh, no, okay. He put. Oh, he took. Uh, okay, so he tossed away that. Interesting, he didn't want the creature? That seems weird. Alright, whatever. Let's try set the pause. Alright, so... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do this right now, kill that off before I can ever think of flipping. Just die. Probably an absent guide. I don't know. Could be any. But I think it's likely an absent. Oh, okay, it's an ice feather even. Also, very dangerous for me to deal with, so perfectly fine. Take care of it. Alright, so I have a bunch of morphs which I can start placing face down if I don't draw any lands. Alright. So what are you throwing into your graveyard? Throwing Wooly Locks it on that and a bitter revelation. Okay. Sage of the Inward Eye will be good eventually, but not right now. For now, I think I'm going to cast this as a morph. And then I'll flip it using like monastery flock. And I can just get in for two in here. Because then it'll block that. I'll get to see what's in his hand, which will be nice. And I won't have to deal with it dying in combat, and I'll save myself two damage. You see, Monastery Flock. I see your hand. Let's see what your hand has to say. Show me your hand, sir. <sighs> Plain Swamp, two Abominations of Goodle, which is gross, and the Necropolis Fiend I had to pass on. Holy hell, his hand has a lot of good stuff. Holy <laughs> hell. <laughs> Playing the Necropolis theme this turn, eh? Yippee. Oh, fuck. Alright. Necropolis Fiend is present and accounted for. I need to hit my Magic Master the way to go off, but I'm not going to, apparently. So, yay for me. Um. Lovely. Alright. Well, then I will just cast this. <laughs> So might as well have another block. It's probably gonna do Necropolis Fiend's effect to kill off my Just Guy Wind Scout next turn, which is going to suck. Major time for me. Because that's the only thing I have that's actually doing anything. 
and I'm gonna just apparently keep sitting on my hands pretty much as I'm stuck with some spells I can't cast and he's just actually hit all his lands which makes me just feel awkward because yeah now he just goes one kill it bam okay yep just go wind scout nice. well unfortunate for the wind scout about all I can say on the matter come on land oh my god where are my lands why are they all hiding bad lands stop hiding need you to come to the forefront of my deck. I need at least two of you, if not more of you. <laughs> I can't do shit to a few lands and colors. I need one planes, at the very least, and I need some other lands. Because <laughs> right now all I can do is just play defensive and pretend like it does something. I can cripple and chill the thing and draw a card. I'm gonna do it on my turn, which wastes half the extra portion of crippling chill pretty much. But the main thought process was I could hit a land, so. Because I need to master the way to kill off the Necropolis fiend. How many cards does he have in his yard? Five. The Necropolis Fiend can kill off a Monastery thing. Lovely. So he's going to kill off one of these. I should. I could have also blocked there. It doesn't matter. Probably killing off this. Yep. Okay, so that dies. So if we draw another land, we can go Master of the Way, kill off his Necropolis Fiend, stop losing guys forever. But we don't draw land, so oh boy. this is this is just getting bad. Maybe he'll attack with his necropolis. No, no, you're not gonna attack with your necropolis thing. Well, I guess I can kill that off and then lose the monastery flock. And still take two, go to five. <sighs> yeah, alright, fine, I'll kill this off because I can't deal with it really well otherwise, so. It dies. That block's there, that block's there. I take a hit. Uses master or er, fiend necropolis fiend to kill off my other monastery flock, leaving me without a flying blocker for right now. I really have to kill this off, right now. but even I think killing it off now, I block there, I take five, I'm still dead. So, yeah, I'm just dead. Cool, my mana just didn't show up. Oh, well, that's life. Alright, well, um, thanks for watching everyone. I had fun during match one. Match two didn't quite develop as it should have. But, whatever. suppose that's how things go. So, yeah. You all have a good time. Uh, um, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. All the good stuff. And... I will keep you informed as upcoming events. I will try to make. I will try to figure out how to put something in a blurb on YouTube or something like that, just so you can actually read it. Um, I'm gonna try to also start to get into a set schedule for my videos versus just kind of posting whenever I feel like it. I'm gonna try to produce like two sets of videos during the week and one on weekends, so that way I get three sets of videos a week or. Either that or just one during the week and one on weekends. I'll, I'll still... I'm going to either do two or three sets of videos. I haven't 100% figured this part out yet, but it will be something that I'm going to work on 
I'm going to standardize my schedule. I'm going to work on all sorts of fun stuff like that. Still working on figuring out a proper date for my 24-hour event. It will be a Saturday going, like, starting Friday evening, going to Saturday evening or something like that. Or, yeah, pretty much that's the thought process. So, I will keep you all up to date when I figure out a proper date and time for it to start. And, yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in my next draft.